Hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4. As you can see, I fixed up Grey Garden as much as I can. I, you know, at some point I'll put a guard here. I finally went and turned back, or turned on the recruitment beacon over at Sunshine Tidings again, so I can start actually pulling people out of there. And that does tend to be what I do. Instead of having recruitment beacons at every location, I generally just have it on at one so that I can just pull people from there because then I, I can look at it and be like uh, like for example I can go over there and be like look there's eight people there so that means that there isn't anyone new there right now because that's what it was last time I looked right so every time I look at it but yeah as you can see I put a guard post here for like the one human that I'm going to have here got the turrets because this is like the little road that people would theoretically come in if they wanted to trade uh, for some, they have this little camp here that I think traveling merchants come to and rest there. Uh, for some reason, you can't get rid of any of these trees with a car. I think you got a little bit of a turret set up here. Got a missile turret there. I don't have anything pointed in this way, mainly because I do believe that some guys can spawn down there, but obviously they can't run up the hill, so they're going to have to come that way and get obliterated. As you can see, I got up on each point of the roof a missile turret and then along the side I have heavy machine gun turrets because uh, I think one of the other spawn locations is down there somewhere and over here on this road but as you can see I blocked off both doors that are in the back and then I only got a turret on either side of here uh, Uh, mainly because, as you can see, it's all cliffs here, and I don't think there's a spawn point over there. I, I, I know there's one that's somewhere in behind over here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's down the road or down there. Either way, got a missile turret and the two turrets there. And I know for a fact that there's one that's down that way. So, that's all I did for it. I cleaned up everything else. I left the two cans of Mr. Handy Fuel here. Uh, and all these scrap parts were missing. Handy just was in boxes, and I didn't realize that that's what was in the boxes before I disintegrated them into nothingness. Um, so yeah, that's Grey Garden. Like I said, I, I didn't plan on doing a whole episode to show how I built that up because there's just not enough to bother with. Uh, so we'll fast travel back to the water treatment plant because that should be a little bit faster. And we'll clear out the Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates. Uh, which is just to the west there, up on a little hill, I guess. Um, and then if we get through that too quickly, we'll go to Oberlin Station, see what quest they give us. And if it's a shitty quest... Or just really far away or something, whatever one that we don't or one that I don't want to do. I'll uh, there's another location that we can clear out just to the south of here, and we'll go and do that instead. Because uh, there is another magazine there, and it's on surgical journals, which I do believe means more limb damage, which is always nice. I do enjoy my limb damage makes it significantly easier to deal with some of the more dangerous enemies. Now I don't yeah, I was gonna say I don't know what enemies there are here. Obviously there's some feral ghouls. Take some of the bullets for that guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there's another one. He seems to be. Oh, he's fucking doing a runner way over there. Not all of them. Seems like it. So there is a few things to pick up here. 
Well, you're not going to need that stuff anymore. Oh yeah, I never checked to see what kind of patio furniture I can build. Cause maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that after. I'll go and see it. I'll go back to the slog and see if I have access to some nicer patio furniture than the rundown crap that's there. All right, what do we got? Squirrel on a stick, squirrel stew, teddy bear. Okay, so that's the new squirrel tape three. Let, let's find tape one first. Oh, Damn. live in love, permanently gain 25% experience from persuading women. Okay. I'm assuming that that's the opposite if it if you play if you're playing as a female character then it probably gives you the bonus experience for persuading men uh take them down now Last mistake you'll ever make yeah. i think that one's a pretty fair like either or you know worth wasting my bullets as for like people you talk to, I feel like there's a lot of women and there's a lot of guys you talk to. I know that the uh, the one perk, the lady killer or black widow, I know that the that that perk is significantly better for a female character for a woman character because uh, there's significantly more men to kill. Like there's more like most of the raiders and that are men. I don't know if super mutants count as. Because I'm pretty sure all the super mutants are male, but I don't know if they Sweet. count for that perk. I'm not sure. But either way, raider-wise, there's still a lot more dude raiders than there are chick raiders, so... Alright, let's see. Great. Alright, and all it is is save control, so you know, if you want to grind experience, you can just repeatedly lock and open up that safe. It's not the best, but it does technically work. Alright, so, new scroll tape one. Hello, my name is Storytime Simon, and I hope you like stories, because I love to tell stories. This one is called The New Squirrel. Come with me on this magical adventure. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky who lived in a big oak tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and family. Every day, Ricky would look out from the top of his tree and wonder what kind of squirrels lived in other trees. The older squirrels warned Ricky that the squirrels in other trees were thieves and liars. They were never to be trusted. Ricky had a rebellious heart and would not form his opinions based on anecdotal evidence. End of hollow tape. Please insert hollow tape too. So this is clearly a kid's story the way it's telling it, and then you throw in the word anecdotal. That seems like a bit much. Alright. <sighs> Storytime Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of The New Squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree, he needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the red squirrel. The red squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of hollow tape. Please insert hollow tape three. I don't know. The fact they made the squirrel red, and the amount that the Fallout games like to make, uh, have stuff making jokes about, you know, the red commies and whatnot, you know. It, uh, the squirrel may screw them over. But let's see. Storytime Simon here with the exciting conclusion to The New Squirrel. Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the red squirrel. The red squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The red squirrel was gone. Ricky
Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. Cats! Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the red squirrel. I'm sorry, he said. They were following me and I couldn't bring them to my tree. They would have eaten my family. As the cats ascended the tree and began to devour Ricky's friends and family, Ricky reflected on his decisions. His last words were, I really wish I would have trusted my elders. The end. Alright, that's not quite what I was expecting. That's a brutal fucking kid story, but, uh... Not the worst lesson in the world. Listen to your elders, I mean... Because here's the thing, right? Like, clearly it's like, oh, you can't trust any other squirrels. They're just thieves and liars. And that sounds like a horrible lesson to teach somebody. But, you know, in general, people who speak like that, it, it comes from some kind of experience, right? And that doesn't mean that, you know, the red squirrel couldn't have been nice. But if all of your interactions, like if you were the brown squirrel and all of your interactions involving the red squirrels were negative obviously that you know would be like oh, all the red squirrels are pricks right um oh look the dead settler is still there and uh and, you know, whenever somebody, especially, well, I, I was going to say especially in a situation like an apocalypse, but I guess the story is about squirrels, but either way, somebody comes from somewhere that you've never been, it's going to be curious because, you know, why are they there, right? Like, even if, like, all of a sudden my neighbor knocked on my door, it's like, you haven't spoken to me in, like, the five years that we've lived next to each other, what do you want? Like, what, what... What's the problem? Like, what's going on, right? Nothing I hate more than red All right, Preston. What now? If you run into any, put a few down for me. We, uh -huh. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important. It has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. A lot of the leaders were killed in that battle, and I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? Anything else need doing? I'll let you know if I hear of any subtle. In the meantime, make sure. Okay. So out of the fire was the Finch Farm one, if you believe. Hey there. We have enough support around the Commonwealth now that we can start thinking about more than just day-to-day -day survival. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with them, And I have well fortified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It sounds like just what we... <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yes. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Okay, so that's a really cool quest. I do like that one. Uh, the castle is way down here, though. Which, obviously, we're nowhere near. So, we could start making our way down that way. And we might do that after we're done with... Uh, McCready here since the combat zone is also there like we could start over here at the amphitheater and just start working our way down and across because the general atomics factory will also progress the uh, the mechanist uh, quest line I don't know about the rest of these I think some of these might have just been marked but yeah uh, but yeah once we're done with McCready because then we can hit up the combat zone and pick up Kate of course, her quest takes place down here somewhere. I don't actually remember where. But either way, turned in those quests. 
Although I don't even think I got the right one turned in. Come to think of it. Uh, we'll do that one since that's where we're going. The Atoma Toys Factor. Oh, right, for the toy parts. And, okay, yeah, so a lot of the stuff that's there is just been marked on our map. Alright, so like I said, let's go check in at Oberlin Station and see what quest they give us. Uh, if we're lucky, they'll give us the quest for that other location that I told you about. Uh, some kind of, uh, I think it's Blood Bank or something. I do also like this location. It's just like this one building uh, next to the train tracks. And it's got like a little farm out back. And I don't know why, but I do actually rather enjoy this location. Uh, it's a good one. It's another one that I don't do a whole lot. I basically replace the fence. Um, and then just set up a checkpoint because like, if you look at the map, you know, it's right. Oh, it is like a good look from like the Northern Boston or like just out like Northern Commonwealth down into like the Boston proper area. It's a good location. Like that could be considered like a checkpoint to run people through. Uh, but it's another one where you have the two settlers that are here. And you can move the settlers out, but, like, the sleeping bag and the bed are always there. Like, you can't get rid of them or anything. So I normally just make it a little bit nicer and then just set it up like there's a checkpoint on the tracks. We could really use your help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? We got a nest of some nasty bugs just around the corner. If they don't get cleared out soon, we're going to have a real problem. What's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you could make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. Huh. Where is this place? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them. And wipe them out. So they're gonna send me to another to a second settlement. The whole place is run by robots. Yeah, I know. I have already, it's already part of the thing. Uh, oh god, where the hell are they? Oh my god, all the way over there? Oh, the boathouse! Yeah, we'll go and do that. I like the boathouse. I usually have the boathouse be like my house, you know? Like I fix it up nicely. And why the hell am Pretty I sure we're not covering alone. radiation? I'm all over this! <coughs> Okay, so obviously all the super mutants have respawned, or respawned, respawned here. You, oh god, in a turret. Okay, that one. Yeah, who's gonna die now? Alright. We're splitting all that, right? No, we're not. Once all this is done, I'll let you move into one of my uh, places, and then that's that. All right. But yeah, like the boathouse there, sometimes I have it where it's just like just my house. Sometimes I make it a checkpoint. It's a weird... It's a weird location to be sent to for this kind of quest. Like, I don't... I'm not sure that I've ever actually got... A, uh, a settlement quest that was... Go get another settlement. You hear that? Now, I'm not gonna... Worry about, uh... about being sneaky because unfortunately it's a bunch of blood bugs and as I've said before what the fuck is happening there? there must have been maybe a mine or something on the ground I 
But yeah, I'm not going to bother being sneaky because it's blood bugs and I absolutely suck at shooting blood bugs. So I'll just be vatsing all of them anyway. God, this blood bug is just not <laughs> dying. I wonder if my machete would be good enough to kill one. Because with that, I should have like a guaranteed hit once I get close enough. Good god, they're just fucking... Just fucking stun-locking me. Die already! Why won't this one die? Fuck. That one must have been pretty full because it was a pretty big fucking blood bug. And the Red Widow one doesn't even have anything like special to it. That's a shame. Mary Sutton, eh? Okay, Margaret's note. Let's see. Mom, Russell has been gone over a day now and I'm getting worried we were going to wait to tell you, but we found an old hollow tape from before the war in the boat shed. It sounded like someone had stashed some chems in the drainage at the end of the canal. Russell thought we might be able to sell them to one of the traders, maybe use the caps to buy another Brahmin. I'm sorry we didn't tell you, we just wanted it to be surprised, but that's the second one of those bugs we've seen today and I think something went wrong. So I'm going to have a look for them. Don't worry, I'm just going to take a quick peek and I'll be back soon, Margie. Margie. Okay, so I'm going to assume this isn't Margaret. No, that's Mary. I'm not trying to make you nervous, but there was someone or something here recently. Well, duh. But yeah, as you can see, this place is a rather nice little house. I mean, it's obviously still blown to shit like most of them. There we go. Got it. Uh, but you can fix it up well enough and you know it's got like the nice porch outside looking over the lake or the river I guess it is not a lake yes let's just take all that uh, so yeah I usually set it up uh, if I romance somebody, sometimes I'll move them in here. Uh, sometimes I just set it up as a checkpoint because it works very well with its location. Because I'll show you in a second here. Uh, but yeah, it's got like a nice little dock here. I don't know how that was. Got boathouse, like. Which, as you can see, the boathouse is a part of it. It's got the nice little fence here, which is where they had the Brahmin. Uh, obviously, though, as you can see, the Brahmin got drained by the blood bugs. And it extends all the way out to the road, which is why it makes a good checkpoint. You can set it up. So, you know. uh, and also, obviously, because of the uh, location that it's at, you know, the only attacks can come from one way. I don't think that there's anything that can attack from the water to this place. Uh, so, yeah, I do really like setting up this place as just like my place 
Uh, now we'll head into the boathouse. Come on. Nice. I see trip wires. Ah, I see. So if you swim into here instead of using the uh instead of using the door, it'll set off the trip wires. Okay, so it looks like they did take the uh the hollow tape out of here, which does make sense. Now, as for what they were talking about. They said it was at the end of the canal, so that's where we're going next. We gotta find Margaret, and we gotta find the um, that gourds out here. Yeah. The uh, dude that was mentioned, but yeah, as you can see, the Brahmin got absolutely drained by the blood bugs. Blood bugs, very worthless enemies. Very little, as you can see, they do they can do a lot of damage. And as you saw when I was trying to melee fight them, they uh, are real freaking pricks when it comes to that because they can stagger you like a motherfucker. Uh, just un so, considering their stagger and uh, separated family rate. <coughs> Ow! Fuck! Where the hell did you come from? And like how thin they are, so therefore hard to hit. Vats is like obviously it's not required, but it's so so required. So obviously the mold and drainage here. Uh, Alright, man. Gotta check something here. Uh, it's here again. Alright. I see you up there. It's on my back. Kill it. There we go. Waste of time. Opening fire. Yeah, I wish you would. Blood bugs. Now Margaret and the other guy. Yeah, Margaret and the other guy. I do believe. Believe both of their bodies are in here somewhere. What's that smell coming from? Oh, that hurt a little bit, but. We're fine. Alright. <sighs> Legion. Zero likeness. Gladly doesn't. Oh, zero likeness on Gladly. Posted. I'm in. Hey, there we go. Okay, door open. Oh, that's just a broken seam. Uh, oh, a bunch of bullets. Yeah, well, this clearly is useful, but it doesn't get us up over there. So, how do we. get up there? can't just get over there or there might be if I can see like another doorway or something right I'm not seeing that either oh wait maybe there it is I was like there there's got to be a way over there oh 
Is this Margaret? No, this is Russell. Pledge initiation instructions. All right. Uh, there we go. Greetings, brothers. You are here because it is that time of year when we induct our newest members into this most esteemed fraternity. Before their initiation is complete, they must be prepared to receive the mysteries of our order. You can find the substances necessary to open their minds in the drainage. As <laughs> you all remember from your own initiation. Remember that the pledges should be blindfolded before you bring them up the canal. And keep an eye out for anyone out late. Uh, the elders will be by Sunday evening for the dinner, and all new pledges must be present, so stick to the normal dosage. Orto Oblitus Osa! Yeah, so that was the uh, that was the hollow tape they discovered that led them here. I'm not sure that we ever find out what that was about. That might have something to do with the one weird location later. So Margaret, Margaret should be out here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where she is. It's also possible that she got placed in water that's a little bit deep and she got pulled out into the like into the actual water. But I'm not 100% on that. A lot of crap down here. I mean, there's a dead body, but that's not going to be Margaret. Not with how fresh the other two corpses were. Uh, let's see, it would make sense for her to be, because she said she was just going to take a peek. So it makes sense for her to be, like, along the pathway from there to here, but... I don't know. Unless she did get pulled into the water, I don't know how much that would. how much the water moves the bodies. But I don't think that it would move them this far. That light effect over there was a little weird. Okay, well, it would make no sense for her to be that far away. Hang on, let me look up the location. I didn't bother to pull this one up because I knew that there wasn't really anything. Hey, I oh, never got a chance to properly oh. thank you for helping me take out Winlock and Barnes. It wasn't a problem. <laughs> Are you kidding? You stuck your neck out for me. I don't forget sh I mean, things like that. You can curse all you want. I'm not your mother. Very funny. It's not about you. It's about a promise I made. When I left the Capital Wasteland, I didn't just leave little Lamplight behind. I left my family behind. I had a beautiful wife named Lucy. And a son we named Duncan. See, he's the one I made my promise to. I promised to clean up my act and to be a better person. I guess that sounds pretty stupid coming from a guy who shoots people for a living. How could you leave them behind like that? I didn't have much of a choice. My son, he's sick. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. One day he's playing out in the fields behind our farm. The next he took a fever and these blue boils popped up all over his body. Last I saw, he was almost too weak to walk. I didn't dare ask him to come with me. Honestly, I don't know how much longer he's going to last. 
There must be something we can do. I was hoping you'd say that. A few months before we met, I bumped into a guy named Sinclair who claimed his buddy caught some kind of disease. I thought he was wasting my time until he said his partner broke out in blue boils. They dug up information about a cure at a place called MedTech Research. They even managed to grab the building's lockdown security coats. Unfortunately, Sinclair's buddy died before they were able to break into the facility. I mean, there's no way that's a coincidence, right? MedTech has to be the place. Can you trust this Sinclair guy? To be honest, I don't know him from Adam. But he brought up the blue boils in the sickness his partner suffered from. There's no way that's a coincidence. Or a trap. Would make any sense. If Sinclair says MedTech researches the place, that's where we need to go. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. Don't give up hope. If there's a cure, we'll find it. Thanks, partner. I'll put MedTech research on your map. When you're ready, just take us out there. I have all the codes we need to get through their security. What you're doing... No one's ever cared that much about me before. Even if it takes me the rest of my life. I'll repay this debt to you. I swear it. Alright. So I looked up Margaret. And I see where she is. I have a screenshot of where she's supposed to be. Now it says that she's... Outside the entrance to Molden Drag drainage, which is obviously over here. Uh, but based on this picture, I mean, she does look like she's in water. But I'm going to check up above first, because like the wall... Maybe that's the boat? So that could have been the boat. She's clearly not here though. Um... Kinda looks like it could be the boat, but... I guess I'll take a quick peek up above to see if maybe she is like checking from up there because I mean the, the the screenshot I have looks less like up here but I don't know because yeah she is supposed to have another note on her Clearly she's not there, so unless, now it's entirely possible that she spawned in and like fell through the world or something, I mean, or glitched into it, or considering where we are, because actually come to think of it, isn't that med tech like right fucking there? Where are we? Right there. Uh, no, I'm looking at Medford Memorial, but med tech's like just over there, we are like super close to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, clearly she either didn't spawn at all, or she spawned and fell through the ground. Because, yeah, based on this picture, like, the only reason I'm not 100% positive it's this boat is because this rock is in this picture. Like, I think she's supposed to be, like, right here. Based on this picture that I'm looking at. Because the rock isn't in it. It's fairly close. You can see this seam on what could be wood. Like I want to say that like this is more or less the screenshot that I'm looking at. And obviously there's no body in front of me. So yeah, either she didn't spawn or she spawned like in the ground or something. Or fell through the ground afterwards. Either way, we're going to head back down to Oberlin, turn this in, and then next part, we'll do MacReady's quest to, uh, to save his son. I don't know how long that quest is. I don't think it's a super long one, because we, especially since we've already been through MedTech. But after we do that, we have to head down to Good Neighbor and do, and, uh, do some You're stuff. You're back. Any luck clearing out that trouble spot? 
I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Nice to have some good news around here for a change. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other out if we want things to get better. All right. So now we can use this one. Boop. There we go. Uh, now this place, I do believe, gets attacked from a few different directions. I want to say that they can get attacked from that direction, that direction, and out back. I don't think that there's a, uh, an attack point over here, but obviously I plan on keeping this location fairly small. Like I said, I'll replace the fence. Uh, these will be the only two people that are here, and I'll just basically set up some defenses for them. I mean, they've already got their room, I, and I'm pretty sure I can't get rid of their beds and stuff. Right? Oh, look at that. I actually can get rid of their beds. So maybe I'll give them some new beds. Maybe I'll make this place a little bit nicer. And I won't ask them what the plots up there were for. Uh, maybe I'll give them a little outhouse out back as well or something, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll fix this place up a little bit nicer. Uh, it, it won't take very long, so, I don't know, I, I, I might do a quick little thing on it. Now, you may notice that they want us to go talk to Preston. Well, he's way over there now, because he's waiting to attack at the place, so... We're not going to worry about turning that in. And like I said, next part we will do McCreevy's quest. So thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you next time for more.